Now, I know you're probably still waking up to some degree, but how well did you sleep last night? And if it wasn't as solid as you'd hoped, maybe you should take a closer look at this, your mm. pillow. The pillow. Now, it's one Aussie, pillow. this is my pillow in the US, dubbed the Pillow Whisperer, is unlocking all the answers. And Nine's US Bureau Chief Robert Penfold caught up with him to find out just how important the humble, humble pillow is. Pillow talk. Pillow talk. He's the man with all the answers so many of us want to hear. I want you to put this between your legs. I want you to turn forward on this side here. What this is going to do, it's going to align your spine at the back. How to get a good night's sleep. You'll find that you'll enter sleep differently. You'll find that you'll stay asleep a lot longer. Peter Whitford has become the Mr. Pillow of America. An Australian who's educating people here in the US that there's so much more to the humble pillow than soft, medium and firm. It's not about the price of the pillow. It's about what best suits you as an individual. And so you can have a pillow that is under $20, you can have a pillow that's over $400, but it's really what works for you. And in his store in Pasadena, California, there it is, the Library of Sleep. A library because it's got a lot of information and a yeah. lot of titles and all the things that go with a traditional library. But before he established the library, there was all the research. So we went about and we bought 2,000 pillows. We cut them up. We analysed the outside shell, we analysed the inside, we had the contents, the weight, the type of fabrics that were being used. When you cut up some of those pillows, were you somewhat surprised at what you found in some of them? I was shocked. I was shocked because what's often said on the outside of the pillow is not what's on the inside. Because it was all about sleep, it turned out a lot of people wanted to hear about it. So now he's become a star on US TV as well. Back in Australia, Peter Whitford worked for Country Road and eventually brought an arm of the company here to the United States. Then he moved to the Limited and then took over the job as president of Disney stores, meaning a lot of travel, a lot of hotel stays and a lot of crummy pillows. So how long is too long to keep a pillow? Well, he's impressed with what they're doing in Australia. Every country is different. In Australia, they've now started to put the expiry date of a pillow on there, right, which is really something that you should look for. And you should make sure that if you do have something and it's not performing, we can show you tests of how your pillow is dead or it's alive. Once the word was out that he had the so-called knowledge, Peter's phone started ringing. American hotel chains, but not just for pillows, they wanted the entire room fitted out. Years ago, hotels used to buy, someone used to sell the pillow to them, someone would sell the mattress to them, the sheet to them, but they've found a coordinated feel of luxury and sleep and wellness this is what the customer is requesting. One of those calls was from the general manager of the new Doucet Hotel near Los Angeles. Martin Nicholson needed 136 rooms done out. Those who are travelling for business realise how important that sleep experience is. Yeah. And this particular bed through Parker and Morgan have really del has delivered an excellent experience. Mm -hmm. And, our, and our, our reviews tell us so. So as the business grows, so does the selection his company, Parker and Morgan, has to offer. The nice part about buckwheat is you can actually position your neck or your body in any way that you want to. Right. Often people who have a sore neck also have a sore back. Right. So we find that a two for one pillow is really the best way to go. Uh -huh. The dog bone one is where you can put your neck in the middle of it yeah. and it sort of can go high or low depending on what you really want to do. It's a pregnancy pillow. Oh, we okay. have a pregnancy pillow, a small one to give comfort to the, uh, to the mother who's delivering. And one side goes directly on the stomach and the other side on the back to support you so you don't roll over. All this for one thing, a good night's sleep. How does it feel? Amazing. Wow. So is your pillow a hard or a soft? No, one? mine's soft. Yeah, I like a hard but one. But I didn't know a pillow could be dead or alive. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's alive. Know. I think you've got some other ones. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be alive with too first, much stuff. First world problem, is my pillow dead or alive? Yeah. Mm. All right, we'll refer to the pillow menu next time we're in a fancy Absolutely. hotel.